Hey, once again, Tim in the Homeland Development Initiative Foundation. Uh, I'm here today now to talk about something that's very close to my heart, as I know it is close to the hearts of very many Armenians around the world, and that is the situation of the Syrian Armenians. Here in Armenia, we have received up to somewhere between eight and 11,000 of them, most of them unemployed in Yerevan and in other places in Armenia. Uh, we're trying to do what we can in HDF to, to try to get something going to employ them. So again, what we do is we take a traditional skill, which in this case is the jewelry sector. There are hundreds of Armenian uh, jewelry makers in Armenia now. And then there is the traditional embroidery techniques. In this case, it is the Madash embroidery. We take those traditional uh, techniques, as we do on everything, and we say, okay, uh, we're not so sure we can sell uh, uh, table runners that take hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of hours to embroider large pieces of and sell them for hundreds and hundreds of dollars. So can we take a small piece of that technique, do it in a very traditional way, and put it in a new setting that is small, that is practical, and is not as expensive? So Aida has done the embroidery on this one in the blue color, and then Garo has set it in silver. So that is the pendant that comes in that color. It also comes in a red color. And some of them also come in, well, let me show you the bracelet then, because that's what I have in stock right now that is in the aqua color, aquamarine color. So those are the three colors, the red, the blue, and the aquamarine. And the, this is the bracelet. There's earrings as well, in that, these in the blue color, but they can be made in the red, the blue, or the aquamarine. And then also we have a pendant or a brooch, depending on what you want to call that. It. It's a brooch with a pin on the back for hanging on your dress. Let me get that into full view. So this is an attempt to get these Syrian Armenians using their traditional skills to give them a product idea that is not what they usually made, but that we think there might be a market for. So I'm hoping that some of you will appreciate what we're trying to do, appreciate the talent and experience that both Gaida, Aida, and hundreds of other Syrian Armenians have, and make a market for these products by making contact with HDAF at info at hdf.org, or if you are in Yerevan at 077-47-3335, so we can get something going for these Syrian Armenian people. Thanks so very much, and have a great evening wherever you are.